I didn't know the backstory. You know, story like an epi pen. <laughs> what does the epi stand for? We'll have to find out. I don't know, you but know? I just stuck my finger in the shot. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, we're bad it's very good. <laughs> talk about the pastry that we had delivered to the table in a cute little painter's bucket. Which is the epi bread, which I guess maybe it's shaped after an epi pen. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's supposed <laughs> to look like a wheat stock. Oh, you, Christian? that makes sense. I didn't know the backstory. You know, like an epi pen. <laughs> what does the epi stand for? We'll have to find out. I don't know, you but know? I just stuck my finger in the shot. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, You're bad it's very good. <laughs> we keep it real. This is just us. It's very good bread. It is. Um, it's kind of like a sourdough, but without being like sour dough tasting. And we also got crunchy. <clears throat> we got Earth Balance butter uh -huh. spread. Yeah. And strawberry preserves kind of stuff. Yeah. It's really good. I think it's delicious, especially it with the butter and the jelly on the bread. Mm. I don't even feel slighted that we didn't get the pastry I know. basket. Exactly. So it's a good deal. Okay. <laughs> Hello. So we've got two of the vegan items that are available here at Topolino's Terrace. Topolino. Topolino's, which is actually Italian for Mickey Mouse. Well, that's what they call him in Italy. That's what yes. they call him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but this is the fruit plate, and the way we modified it was just by omitting the honey yogurt. The granola here is actually made with agave. So if you're looking for something a little bit lighter, and you don't want something that's a mock meat or a mock egg, this would be a fantastic option for you. Um, I'm gonna eat a blackberry. I'm gonna eat one of these beautiful pears, and then I'm gonna try a little bit of that granola. Just to see how it is. Oh, it's tart, but it's I like stinky. the tart. Yeah, I just tried to shake it and it didn't shake, so how is it? Mmm, it's good. I imagine and you sprinkled it on top, it would just give the fruit oh, some yeah, more texture, that's true. right? And now I'm gonna try this omelet, which is made with just egg, and they're calling it the wild, no, they're calling it a wild mushroom scramble, but it's actually an omelet, it's not a scramble, right? But there's no cheese in it. There's so, no yeah. scramble, no scramble involved. Very good. I don't know what kind of mushrooms they're using in there. I don't um, either. We'll have to ask. Maybe king, king oyster mushrooms is kind of what it tastes like. They're a little chewy. And then, is there any veg in here besides mushroom? There's tomatoes. Tomato. Oh, I haven't sure. gotten far enough in yet. I think there's spinach too. Is there? In the middle. Um, you can't go wrong with a breakfast potato. Good. We got sauteed onions. And last but not least. Oh yeah. The sausage. Let's try it. Tastes like a beyond broth. Oh yeah. I'm not getting anything spicy. Mm.
nice and hearty. You can't beat the view here either. I mean, it's just phenomenal. The lighting out here is fantastic. We've been visited by Daisy, who is a dancer. We've been visited by Donald, who is a sculptor. He's got his tools and his little <laughs> apron. Mm -hmm. And Minnie, who is a poet. She's got her little book that she carries around with her, and her dress is made out of her poetry. And then we haven't met Mickey yet, but he is a painter, so. I'm sure he'll be coming by the table soon. And you can go outside and look at the terrace out there while you're here. Yeah, which we'll take you along and do that in a little bit. Ta-da! All right, so we just wrapped up breakfast mm -hmm. at Topolino's yes. Terrace. Topolino's! Like Topolino's, Topolino's Terrace. <laughs> uh, we've done dinner before, yes. which I'll link that up down below. We didn't do a vlog because we were, we're being silly that night. We were enjoying time. each other's company. Um, but they we didn't enjoy our no, just we did enjoy it. <laughs> they do only serve breakfast and dinner here. Yes. So breakfast, we made a reservation at 10:50, and we're just wrapping up around noon. Not that the service was slow, but we were just slow in taking photos and video, and didn't feel rushed at all. And it was kind of like a lunch or a brunch. Yeah. So if you're looking for an option like that, this is a great place for that. And that's a good time to do that because then there's less people and you can see out the windows and you get more time with the characters before they have to leave. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I wanted to make a correction on that fruit platter that we showed you earlier. The granola does have honey in it. That one was made special for me upon request with agave. So <laughs> your mileage may vary, yes. but there is honey in the regular granola. And also, I believe there was a sun butter that came with that. that yeah, you probably... sunflower butter, it said. Right. In the menu. Yeah, but we didn't get that. But anyways, I digress. I just wanted to mention that. So, what did you think overall of our breakfast experience? Why would you get butter with the fruit plate? I don't know. That's weird. Also, the egg was just egg. Yes, oh, yes the egg confirmed. was confirmed, confirmed just confirmed. egg. And <laughs> inside of our scramble slash omelet was Trumpet mushrooms and clamshell mushrooms, which I've never heard of before. But I did ask a chef. You shall Google told them later. Yeah. I thought it was lovely. Um, I think I said this, I've been saying so many things, I don't know which vlog it was for, but <laughs> I think this, even though it's a little bit pricier than a normal character breakfast, I think. I don't know. I don't really do character breakfast. Is this like a cheap one? Yeah, it's $41. Mm -hmm. And it, we're also in a really busy time of the year, so I don't yeah. know if the price will go down. That's true. But anyway, I. It, it was worth it to me, yeah. I think. Um, you've got four new characters that are in costumes specific to this location. Four classic so characters fun. in new costumes. Yes, sorry, so. not new characters. <laughs> I mean, the Fab Four. Yeah, yeah. And like I said before, I don't feel like slighted or like I had only one option to get the vegan breakfast. It was very filling. It was very complete. You yeah. know, it was really good. I yeah. loved it. I would definitely come back and do this again. For sure. And the views out here on the terrace I'm are bring phenomenal. My, my little Giovanni. Giovanni. To meet Topolino. Topolino. <laughs> and we leave you with that. Goodbye.